Hello friends, if you want to run macOS on your Windows 11, yes, we can do it with the help of VirtualBox and we can enjoy the macOS on our Windows PC. Let's begin. There are some useful and the important steps. I have noted down all of them. Let's begin. In the step one, we have to download the macOS ISO file. So copy this link, open the favorite browser, paste it, press enter, and then you will see the Internet Archive website. Come downside on the right hand side, when you do a click, you will see all the versions available, total 19 files. And you can choose any one of the OS ISO file. Let's proceed with the Big Sur. Once you click, the downloading will begin. You can see I have already downloaded the ISO files on my system. So I will not proceed with this time. So I have just cancelled it. Now let's jump to the step 2. Now in the step 2 we need to download a virtual box software and the extension pack. All of those available on this link. Copy this link, open a new tab, paste it, press enter and then you will see the official virtual box website. And here under this heading you have this link windows host. Please click on it and soon downloading will start. So please download this virtual box then come to downside under this heading we have the another link so just click on it to download the extension pack see this the extension pack is downloaded and the virtual box downloading is in progress so please download these two softwares let me let me take you inside the folder so i have downloaded all those three the iso file with the virtual box and the virtual box extension let's install with the virtual box so just double click on the x installer and follow the instruction shown on the screen click next click yes proceed with the installation click yes click next click install this is very straightforward installation Okay, now the final screen we have seen, click finish. And if you check this box, and then the virtual box will be launched. And when you see, this is the home screen. Now you can proceed with the virtual box extension pack. Click, click on it, and then click install and this is terms and agreement click i agree and this is installed so in my virtual box i have already tested and created one virtual machine so please ignore that i will show you everything in scratch now we are at the step number three this is the most important step in this step we have to disable windows hyper v feature and this is the hypervisor software which is running by default by the windows 11 so we have to go inside the windows security then come to this device security on the top we have core isolation heading and just click on this link and you will come inside memory integrity toggle button so please click this toggle button and put it in off state so i have already done it once you do it in the off state, this will ask you to restart the machine. Then please wait. We have to do one more action item. Here we have to run this command to completely turn off the hypervisor feature from the Windows 11. Open the command prompt as admin. Then type this command, press enter. Then you will see this message operation completed successfully. That's all. Now we can restart our PC. Okay, let's move to step 5. I hope you have, guys have restarted your machine. Now we can proceed with the step 5. In the step 5, we have to proceed with the virtual box. And we will set a virtual machine inside. And this is the most important step. So we will do some configuration here. So once you open the virtual box first time, you can see this is the extension pack 
this is installed and now you can go back now click on this new button and this the first window will appear here you have to give the name of the virtual machine you can give any name and now select the ISO image which we have downloaded in the previous step in this version please select Mac OS x64 bit only click next this is the hardware configuration so here we have to assign we have to allocate the memory for our virtual machine so suppose if you if your windows laptop or pc has more ram then you can allocate more ram to your virtual machine in the same way we can allocate the processor core so the current laptop supports 12 core so i have assigned 10 so the more you allocate the more smooth functioning will occur with the virtual machine now at this level this is virtual hard disk so please check how much space is available on your c drive according to that please assign this space this time i have a maximum availability 56 gb so i have assigned it click ok then you will see all the configuration details on this page now we have to do further settings click on this gear icon in this window click on the system and see this the base memory which we have allocated previously now go to the acceleration make sure the chipset is ic9 and uh, set it to minimal and now go back to the display set this video memory to 128 mb and graphics control will be default set if you select anything this will give you the error in the source already in place and now come to the network go to the adapter 2 select the bridge network and then select the wi-fi adapter name now go to the usb for the smooth functioning of the mouse pointer uh, we will set it to usb 2.0 if you are using very latest uh, intel processor and uh, i5 i7 i9 then you can go with the usb 3.0 click ok that's all all the configuration will be available here you can simply check it once okay once the configuration is done we have to run some configuration commands on the cmd this is important before launching the virtual machine right so this is the command the link of this command given in the description so you can check it so there are two types of command if you guys are using intel based pc so you have to run the first set of command those who are using the amd cpu based pc need to run the second set of the command okay so let's proceed with the first one because i am using intel cpu so here we have to change one thing so in the double quotes you have to simply give the name of your virtual machine right now the name of the virtual machine is mac os in my condition so i have placed mac os in between the double quotes in your case you have to replace with your virtual machine name right now let's open the command prompt as admin and paste all the commands set here press enter no error everything is going good let's close everything now come back here in this v box and start the virtual machine the very first time you will see this black and white screen and uh, you will see a lot of text and some configuration and pre-checks are happening and this will take some time so please have patience and proceed with the steps.
this may take 5 to 10 minutes or more depends on the configuration that you have given at the time of setting up the virtual machine the installation process will take 10 to 15 minutes or 20 minutes now finally you will see the language the setup so please select the language and click on this arrow and now finally you will be landed here now here click on the disk utility click continue this is the disk utility and here we have to format the allocated disk which we have created for the virtual drive okay so just select vbox hard disk media click erase and give the disk name and the format will be apfs now click on the erase button this will not take much time only five seconds required for the complete format of the disk okay it's done now we can close the utility from this place okay now we have to select the second option install mac os dig sir click continue And this is the installation screen of the Dixer. Click agree. Click agree. Then select the disk. Click continue. And now we have to wait. You can see a progress bar and the time remaining for the installation. So I'm moving the clip in a 16x speed because this process takes time. and several times your uh, vbox will be rebooted and you will see this kind of black and white screen and finally you will be reached here and this will ask you to select the country and the region right so just select the country and then click continue and now you can click continue not now click continue we don't need it click not now set up later skip this is terms and conditions you can simply click agree this will ask you click agree here you have to give the full name set an account name and set a password and please enter the password for the confirmation second time here and click continue so very first time this process will be slow so please have patience and do it correctly and now move forward follow the screen instruction now you can select the light theme or dark theme whatever you want when you click continue this will show you the keyboard setup assistant click continue and please press the right key just side to the shift and then this will recognize your keyboard layout once the final setup is finished you will see the home screen of macOS Big Sur now you can see the full-fledged dock and the background and the top menu as I told you the first time this will be little bit slow you will feel lag but once the complete loading and installation will be done and this will be smooth now you can see i am doing the activity in the mac os big sur but this is not in the full screen view if we want to run in a full screen mode we have to do one more setting for that purpose we have to execute one more command to set the resolution and this is the simple command right now I'm going to set the resolution 1920 by 1080 this will be done easily the same command present in the description box as well so now first we will close this virtual machine means we will shut down this machine 
and now we will go to the command prompt we'll open this prompt as admin press enter see this command executed successfully now we, again, we can again start the virtual machine here we go boot process in progress and you will see the apple logo and the loading is done now we got the login screen so please log in the user with the password and once you go on the top click on the view full screen mode and now this will tell you how you can exit from the full mode so you have to press the right shift plus f key to exit from the full screen mode now we are inside the full screen mode enter the password for this user see this home screen loaded okay everything is here let's check the internet connection so as you can see the internet icon and showing that the Wi-Fi is connected but let's check from this Safari browser type website name and press enter and you will see website is loaded and the browser is properly working and the mouse cursor is also it's smooth no issue but as compared to the original Mac machine you will feel the little bit lag because we have assigned the less memory and the core to this virtual machine right so friends this is the process we can install the mac os on the virtual box inside the windows 11 i hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and please subscribe to support and for now thanks for watching cool it help